Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And this world is getting darker and darker. This is going to be the continuation of the commentary of Isaiah. We're on chapter 16, verse 1. Send ye the lion, I'm sorry, send ye the lamb, send ye the lamb to the ruler of the land from Selah, to the wilderness, unto the mount of the daughter of Zion. For it shall be that, as a wandering bird cast out of the nest, so the daughters of Moab shall be at the fords of Arnon. Take counsel, execute judgment, make thy shadow as the night in the midst of the noonday, hide the outcasts, bewray not him that wandereth. Let mine outcasts dwell with thee, Moab, be thou a covert to them from the face of the spoiler. For the executioner is at end, the spoiler ceaseth, ceaseth, the oppressors are consumed out of the land, and in mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it in truth in the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking judgment, and hasting righteousness. We have heard of the pride of Moab. He is very proud, even of his haughtiness and his pride and his wrath, but his lies shall not be so. Therefore shall Moab howl for Moab. Every one shall howl for the foundations of Kirsh Aharish. Shall ye mourn? Surely they are stricken. For the fields of Heshbon languisheth, and the vine of Shibma, the lords of the heathen, have broken down the principal plants thereof. They are come even to Jazir. They wandereth, they wandered through the wilderness. Her branches are stretched out. They are gone over the sea. Therefore I will bewail with the weeping of Jazer, the vine of Shibma. I will water thee with my tears, O Heshbon and Ilaleh, for the shouting of thy summer fruits, and for thy harvest is fallen. And gladness is taken away, and joy out of the plentiful field, and in the vineyards there shall be no singing, neither shall there be shouting. The treaders shall tread out no wine in their pass presses. I have made their vintage shouting to cease. Wherefore my bowels shall sound like an harp for Moab and my inward parts for Kirharesh. And it shall come to pass when it is seen that Moab is weary on the high place that he shall come to his sanctuary to pray but he shall not prevail. This is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning Moab since that time. And now the Lord has spoken, saying, Within three years, as the years of an hireling, and the glory of Moab shall be contemned with all that great multitude, and the remnant shall be very small and feeble. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen.